Hey, welcome back to another tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to detect when you're muted on your avatar and display something or change something. Uh, so you can indicate to other people that you're, mute, that you're mute. For example, on my avatar, I uh, detect when I'm mute and I close my mouth. You should be able to still hear me because I'm recording via OBS's audio, not the in-game audio here. So my mouth is closed when I'm muted so people know that I am mute. Uh, let's get started. I'm going to do a simpler example for this one on the uh, standard Ybot avatar, so let's get started. Over here I've got the standard Ybot avatar and a mute icon from Flat Icons. Thank you Flat Icons for this mute icon. I've tinted it red using materials, um, that's fine. First thing I'm going to do is position this above the head and parent the icon to the head. We're going to be doing this roughly. If this is your own avatar you might want to do things uh, a little bit more rigidly. I'm also going to take this volume icon and remove the grabbable so it's no longer grabbable. So now you'll see it moves around with the avatar and isn't grabbable itself. Cool. So the next thing we need to do is uh, go ahead and find the audio output for an avatar. To do that, we're going to inspect the avatar, go to the root of your avatar, find the head proxy, and select the head proxy here. By default, and this is not always the case, check my uh, video tutorial for a tutorial on how to move where the audio output is, but uh, most of the time it's in the head proxy here and you'll see there's an audio output here. Uh, so you'll need that and the icon side by side. Then grab a logic tooltip and we're going to grab the audio output and spawn that in the world with secondary. And then we're going to grab the volume uh, mute icon and spawn that in the world with secondary so that they're side by side. Now we're going to go ahead and open up our node browser. We're going to go to operators and I'm going to go to exclamation mark, which means not. Um, and plug in enabled into this side of the not and the other side goes into active. And that's all there is to it. So to explain things a little bit clearer, um, the not um, node will take an incoming value and negate it, so it'll do the opposite of it. So here you'll see um, you'll see that it says false coming in, and so it comes out as true. So if I change it to true, it will come out as false. So I'm going to plug that back into enabled, and then I'm going to go ahead and pack this uh, logics into the avatar. So I'm going to go to the center of the avatar here, uh, the top of their avatar even, make a new child. Go here, and then do logics. Pack this away by holding secondary on the not, and it will all go away. So now when I hop into this avatar, and I'm still muted, you'll see if I, uh, where's my camera? Here it is. If I go to the third person camera, you'll see that I am not muted currently, but then when I go muted, a big mute icon appears above my head. And then when I unmute, it disappears. So mute, unmute. And I'm doing that all with the private UI. Let me just show you that again. So private UI, let's move POV, I'm not on mute, I'm going to go to mute, mute icon, unmute, no mute icon. That's all there is to it. Uh, if you want to do something more complicated, you can do things like I've got in my avatar whereby I detect the mute state and turn on a shape key. That's quite easy to do. Um, if you want to do that, we will uh, unpack this again. And, uh, let me hop out. Here what you can do is you can say uh, operators question mark colon also stands for ternary and you can plug in this enabled state into here and then out here you can have um, actually you no know, we can use 0 and 1 for this we don't need to use that one second here. So 0 1 will make this a lot easier uh, so again here we can say um, when this is not enabled, so enabled not, make this property one and then put this into a shape key and then it will drive the shape key to one. So I have a closed mouth shape key that's driven to one using this exact setup. Audio output disabled means that it's muted. 
Um, not that, so not enabled turns to true, and then outputs one, and then drive that into a shape key. Yeah, that's all there is to it. I will see you next time if I can find my camera.